VYOS is installed. And if I go here, VYOS, my user ID and the password that I set up by myself. And here we go. Now the system is ready. VYOS is ready to be configured. I'll be simply typing here configure and it will open in the configuration mode. Clear the screen and then of course you can start configuring it. If I type in show, it will show me all the configuration right now which is set up. So it shows me ETH0 and ETH1. These are both the network interfaces right now. One I'll be using for external, one I'll be using for internal. So some of the default configuration which is already there is NTP. So you can do any settings here, any configuration once you create, you need to commit that configuration. And if you want to save it, so you need to type in save. So it will save the configuration into default configuration file. In case you want to see what changes you have made, so you'll type in compare. So it will show you no changes are made as of now. So let us start making few changes here. So I'll be setting up IP address so that I'll be able to access internet here from this particular VYOS. I'll type in ping google.com. Right now you can see it doesn't uh, find anything. And even if I try to ping 192.168.100.1, which is the gateway, so I'm not able to access it because the ETH zero is not having any IP address. So I'll be typing here in set interfaces and in interfaces, which interfaces you want to configure, we want to configure Ethernet and Ethernet, which one you want to configure, we'll be configuring ETH zero. And here we need to have the address of this. So I'll be typing in address and address will be 192.168.100.8. This is what I'll be using the IP address for this particular interface and slash 24. This is my subnet. Now you can see address has been added. And at the same time, I'll be adding the description of this also. So I'll be using description here and description will be van. Now you can see description has also been added and then I'll do commit here. And the moment you commit, configuration will be available. And now if I try to ping 192.168.100.1, so I'm able to get the response. And if I ping google.com, you can see that uh, name resolution is not there. So this is because the name server is not yet set. So if I show you here, show system and name server, right now there is no name server. Configuration under specified path is empty. So which means there is no name server. If the name server is not there, of course, I can't ping any DNS here. So it won't allow me to ping anything here. If I show you show interfaces and it will show me that ETH0 is having IP address 192.168.100.8. So I'm able to access 192.168.100.1. So I need to define the DNS system here. So I'll do set system name server and I'll be typing name server which will be 1.1.1.1 which is Cloudflare DNS and I'll be also setting up another DNS which will be 8.8.8.8. Of course you can use your router IP address also to use to be used as the DNS so I can add three DNS records here 192.168.100.1 this also becomes the DNS and I'll commit it. Now the DNS records are updated if I show the system name dash server so you can see here that there are three name servers added. If I want to in fact delete it, I can do delete system and it will be name server this. So I can type in name dash server and what entry I want to delete, which was 192.168.100.1. And if I compare it now, you will see it that this particular data needs to be deleted here. So I'll commit this and save it. Now we need to, of course, define the static route here that I will be asking for any address, for example, google.com. So it says that name is not resolved. And for example, if I try to ping 1.1.1.1, network is not reachable because I have not yet defined that what is the route. So I need to first of all create the routing table here, show interfaces. If I ping anything from this particular address, what is the next hop? What is the next IP address? So that has to be mentioned here. So let me see here, show protocols. So there is no protocol defined. There is no router defined. So I'll be creating the first protocol, which will be static route. So I'll be creating edit protocols. And here I'll be using static route. And what will be that route? It will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which means that any network, any IP can pass through the route. And what will be that next hop or gateway? So gateway will be 192.168.100.1. Enter. So this is static. Now you can see protocol has been added. And if I compare it now, you can see this route has been added. So I'll just commit. And now if I ping 1.1.1.1, 1 
So you can see here I'm able to get the response because the router IP address has been added. If I'm trying to access anything from here, so who will be responding? This particular gateway will be responding. So for this particular firewall, the router is this. And now if I try to even ping google.com because DNS is already defined, so it is also giving me the response. If I exit from this particular configuration, and I show you the configuration here. So all my configuration is mentioned here. So what is that configuration? So Ethernet address is defined and the Ethernet one, which is my internal, it is not yet defined. And I'll also show you how we can configure that. And here, if you see the protocols, so static route is also defined. And in system, you can see here that name servers are also defined. Of course, NTP is defined by default. You can change the NTP in case you want to change it. If I type in show system NTP, so it will show you the NTP show system name server so it will show you these name servers we have configured wan interface now now we'll be configuring the lan interface so which is eth1 in next video i'll show you how we can do that